We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for giving us an opportunity to fellowship in this church. And we thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. Most of the times we listen from people and human beings. But Lord, we know that your word is life and your word transforms and your word grows and your word changes. So we pray that you may speak to us. Use me as your noble vessel for this our humble prayer of faith in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I greet you once more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Remind your neighbor Nigeri na endelea. My name is Frederick Waweru Kiradi. I'm born again. I love Jesus Christ. He's a close friend and I've continued um, humbling myself before his hand for I know that he uplifts his own. And I thank God for this day. We thank God for the Sunday we had our covenant renewal. It was such a service and we believe that the God we prayed the one we renewed our covenants with is faithful to keep his part of the covenant. Moving forward, there are um, lessons and teachings and trainings that will keep coming our way because we, do, we want to empower ourselves spiritually. We don't just want to focus on programs and projects. We want to focus on the growth of persons as individuals. So expect this year, part of our better part of our evangelism budget, we'll go into trainings and 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 trainings and coachings and such. Because we want to learn strategic thinking, transformative leadership. We are now doing CBR. We'll also be doing a series with men called, called Tran Transformed Men Series. We are reaching out to them to come and begin that series because we want to grow us as individuals. Sometimes institutions and organizations and churches focus on brick and mortar, buildings and such. We will still do that, but we want first of all build our capacity and our ability to do things. So much, much more will be coming as we continue in the year. In the interest of time, let me get into the hearing of the word. The power of generosity. The power of generosity. Proverbs 11.24 In different versions. Let's first of all look at that. Uh, Proverbs 11.24 In the very different versions that we can have. The NIV says in this verse, there is one who scatters, yet increases more. There is one who scatters, yet increases more. This one over here is saying, one person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another one withholds unduly, but becomes poor. The other one is saying, give freely and become more wealthy or be stingy and lose everything. There are those who generously scatter abroad. You see the word scatter is like wastage. It's like you are careless. There are those who generously scatter abroad and yet they increase more. But there are those who withhold more than is fitting and what is justly due but it results only in want. The power of generosity. There was a time Kameme FM on Thursdays they were doing a program on entrepreneurship. And I used to log into that program. It was hosted by Joki Waburo when she was in Kameme. And as a friend, I used to follow her programs. 
she once hosted a gentleman who had come from he was working in Nairobi but came from Nyeri and on that particular day on entrepreneurship he spoke about the power of giving he came to speak about creating wealth but he focused on the power of giving then there was that time after presentation that the callers would be uh, the listeners would be allowed to call and make comments or ask questions one of the persons who called made a comment and said that gentleman is telling us to give more because he is already a millionaire and therefore he has something to give then there were other people who made other comments and callers when it came to the point of him responding to the different calls and calls the gentleman said i agree i disagree with the person who said that i give because i am a millionaire but i want to correct that person and tell that lady i don't give because i am a millionaire but i am a millionaire because i give praise the lord i am a millionaire because i learned uh come on give us our call to worship from luke chapter 6 i learned the scriptures the scriptures say give and it will be given back to you so unless you release whatever you have it will never come back to you so the scripture says give and it will be given to you and then jesus qualified how it will be given back good measure pressed down shaken together running over let's take the analogy of a seed i read once read like a small article i think it was a summary of a book or someone had done a book review so i can't remember the book but i remember the person who did it my friend victor and he said every forest comes from a seed on one seed because if you nurture that seed and you give it to the soil and the soil causes the seed to germinate then that germination that tree grows it produces more seed and then the most the seed they are taken back to the soil again and it's a cycle and he said a forest comes from a seed give and it will be given back to you Dr Miles Mundo speaking about the power of giving he spoke about how we reproduce reproduction and he spoke about multiplication and Miles Mundo brought something very unique you know he was a guy who thought out of outside the box and he said Whatever you give he gave the example of a woman whatever you give to a woman she incubates the same and gives back to you He said if you go buy some food stuff vegetables and meat and whatever you give them to her she will give you back a meal she will give you food you give her a house she gives you a home tunaelewana you're looking at miss kiat then she, he came back now to the point and he said you give her a seed and she gives you back a child and that's why i never agree with people who keep crucifying us men who produce girls and they want us to believe that like there is a problem with our women there is nothing wrong with shiko giving me back three girls i am the seed carrier so i gave her the seed hers was only to incubate 
and give me back what I had given her. That's why if I find a man, separate or divorce a woman who is only bearing children, I call that gentleman Bafu kama kibaki. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Because we are the seed carriers. Catching one another. Tunashikana. I'm still in the line of giving. So, I give one seed and I'm given back a girl or a boy. To fulfill Luke chapter 6, pressed on um, a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. And when you go to receive your wife <coughs> having gotten a child, you say, look at the angel, look at the battle of joy and all those other words you write on Facebook. The power of generosity. There is a very controversial scripture in the book of Genesis about a lady called Tamar. Tamal was married, the first husband died and left her without a child. Then the brother married the same lady, he died without leaving a child. Then the third one came, so the, the father-in-law thought, Kwan yu mschana ntampatia watoto wagu wate awe. So the two, our muisho, every time they slept with that lady, they refused to give her the seed. And then they are blaming her for being childless. Now, let's go to our second reading. Jesus gives a very unique story. People are gathered at Afra Stadium for this big crusade done by this young man from Nazareth. They have gathered at Afra Stadium. And then time comes and the preacher, the televangelist called Jesus, realizes these guys are hungry. His session clerk, Sami, goes and tells him, Send them back to Nakuru town to buy food for themselves and then come back for the afternoon crusade. Jesus tells the session clerk, they don't need to go anywhere. You Give them food. And the disciples are astonished and they ask Jesus, do you realize that this crowd has only one gender, men over 5,000? And I don't know how they calculated the men and they didn't calculate the women and the children. But they already calculated the men and they said, these gentlemen are over 5,000. So he said, how can we give them food? All we have are five loaves of bread and two pieces of fish. We have only five loaves here and two fish. Jesus said, bring them. And they brought. And Jesus says, but the Bible says, he looked up blessed and broke the bread. Listening to a bishop I like listening to called Tudor Bismarck. Tudor Bismarck tells us when Jesus blessed the loaves and the fish blessed and broke he broke the limitations Imitation from feeding a boy, because that was for a boy, he broke the limitations in the fish and the bread and gave it the power of multiplication to feed the crowd. What if the boy withheld the bread, the five loaves, and the two fish? You know, there is some English in my head. You know, there is someone who wrote on Facebook and said, 
in my head my english is very good but when i open my mouth i don't know what happens now the english in, in my head is telling me to say fishes ask your neighbor what is the plural of fish si kama hata yeye anafikiria kama mimi fishes what if the boy decided na unajua unajua kipi na mkate kipi na mkate and you know we could steal a loaf of bread ile ilikuwa inaitwa calf more okay kwa sababu ya wale hamkuwa mmefika wakati wa calf more nyinyi ambao mmekuja baadaye roho safi na wengine hawa wale wa kitambo hebu niwaambie no this is my friend mkisikia nikimuingilia calf more ilikuwa mkate nusu but wrapped up kama ni mzima sasa tulikuwa tunaifinya hivi ina cartoast moja naona nyinyi hamkuwa bp nyinyi mmedelewa cool kids imambo hamuielewi and then unaenda kwa sweta ya shule unaiweka hapa na unaifinya hivi na unapita mbele ya mwalimu hivi kama as if there is nothing that has happened what if the boy decided hii ni mkata yangu na sipati mtu then it means he is the only one who have fed from that loaf of bread and because there were five i'm not sure he would have finished and the two pieces of is it fish or fishes haya moja ya hiyo but when he realized the need that the master is asking for the two fish and the five loaves of bread the boy agreed to give his food and jesus performed his miracle and over 5000 people were fed as i tell you to be generous i'm not calling you to be generous from your millions i know some of us are really struggling and in their own hearts they only have the five loaves and the two fish and probably sometimes you are looking at your neighbor who is in need and dire need and you are asking yourself what should i give to this person and what will be left in my hands let me tell you one of our struggles in our mind and in our hearts when we are debating to give or not to give we don't look at what we are giving we mostly consider on what will be left in our hands but jesus demanded to be given the entire five loaves and the two fish and that is where the miracle happened one day you were preached to by an elder called karanja actually karanja i think he came from this region nakuru and moro and joro he used to teach about tithing and giving and one day he told us our problem is that god wants to put something in our hands but what he put yesterday and the day before yesterday he fights it in our hands and therefore the the fist is closed like this why because we are still holding on to the little that we have but he said the minute you release and you give it out god fights empty hands and therefore he has somewhere to replenish he has somewhere to give back to but look at proverbs 11 that those of us who are stingy that is a bad word to be written in the bible but it is there because probably in the wisdom of solomon and all his wisdom and knowledge and understanding he found that there are people who are very generous but he also found those who hold on to ini mikata yangu kufa kupona sipati mtu hawa ni samaki wangu kufa kupona i cannot share with anyone but this morning i encourage you to learn the power of generosity because the minute you release your bread 
and the minute you release your fish it will come back to you how will it come back it will come back pressed down you know you are ni ile kukanyangia ndani dio ingie kama vile imeingia kabisa pressed down shaken over when i think about putting and shaking over i've grown up in an environment where we were growing carrots and if you just take carrots from the bucket and throw them to hiyo gunia without shaking it and that's a trick most uh, farmers do then you'll think that your gunia was full but after bumps up na pale hivyo na corrugation itafika ikiwa nusu so if you really want to pack carrot unaweka bucket moja ya pili ya tatu then unashika and you shake you shake very well then unaongezea ingine and you shake again then unaongezea ingine and you shake again and if you that's exactly how carrots are packed now god is telling us in our call to worship in Luke chapter 6 that god will give back your bread and your fish in good measure he knows how to measure now look at the measure that he used in this particular story of Matthew he, the good measure was these were five loaves of bread and these were two pieces of fish and i need to measure it to the extent of feeding 5000 men that is the good measure so if you want to understand the word measure in this scripture god is looking at five loaves of bread to feed 5000 men the bible is saying should be given back to you good measure <clears throat> then pressed down kuna mtu anakuja hapo na anakanyangia dio ingie and anasukumia dio ingie pressed down then shaken together then overflowing running over overflowing may god help us to learn the power of generosity but i'll end by saying this generosity does not operate from the, um additions generosity creates multiplication generosity does not add add from the one you had if it is about adding then it is not in the measure where five loaves can feed 5000 those who are not additional us i area mahesabu sikai tan sana i always tell you english and mathematics i fell down sim na irewa gaiyo I fell down. I don't catch much English. I don't catch much much mathematics. Ile mathematics najua kwa kweli ni kuhesabu pesa. Jaribu leta ni kuhesabie. Let me say this that these arithmetics of Matthew are not about addition rules. They are about multiplication. It is the only way you can achieve five loaves of bread and then they feed 5000 and when the bible says running over overflowing eventually after feeding the 5000 men and the women and the children because of the abundance because of the leftovers they were left with 12 full baskets of food i pray that god may fight you and i not stingy holding on to our five loaves of bread i pray that god will fight us generous enough to share our loaves and our fish with the 5000 because that is the only way that god will multiply the little that we have may you be generous even to a stranger because when job was challenging god he even asked him have n't i been generous even to a stranger Be generous to your neighbor. Be generous even to your family members. Some of us are watching our own siblings suffering and we cannot start with them. We cannot risk our finances and our resources with them. Be generous. Be generous with your time. 
can tell you in the life we are living in today and especially this time that people are suffering from mental health there are people yearning yearning for some time to be just listened to not to be bought food not to be given money just to be given ears just to be listened to and understood be generous with your time some people are yearning for attention they just need someone to just pay attention to what they are saying and what they are going through there are people who are really yearning for that i was listening to someone explaining why paul says greet one another with a holy kiss and that person said the issue is not about kiss it's about what we say give the other person a shoulder to cry on because there is some chemistry in a hug remember when you were really going through something and your close friend came to you and tightly hugged you and you were like all my problems and issues are going to this new chest be generous what the other persons are in need of be generous from the small things to the big and the great may god help us to continue understanding what he's saying and may his holy spirit open this word for our consumption beyond here tell your neighbor be generous Okay, mwambie vizuri, mwambie be generous. Now give a warning, don't be stingy. Okay, mfanye hivi, don't be stingy. <laughs> May God bless us in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>